these are some of the friendliest people I've ever met in my entire life. These are people of genuinely excellent character. I'll say, should a guy who plans to take a trip write letters to women beforehand or just go? I, I, I think either or. I think write some letters. I think a lot of guys write letters without have, having any real direction to their correspondence and before they know it, two years and several thousand dollars have gone by and I wouldn't necessarily advise you to take that path. I think the greatest time to start writing to somebody is probably within 90 days of when you travel. One of the first things you tell somebody is I'm writing to you because I'm going to be in your city. I've already made the commitment. So we have a definite chance to meet each other. and That's the main reason I'm writing to you, so that we can get to know each other and meet each other. How do you feel about that? And let her respond to that. If you're writing to somebody that you've made the commitment to get on the plane and go and meet them, that's definitely not something anyone else is probably saying as they're writing to her, and that'll help you to really stand out and get a good response, I think. What would you add to that? Yeah, I think so. I think that, um, look, there may be a few women that you see from the internet that you think you're going to be a good match with. Now, that's only a one-dimensional picture of what that woman's really about, right? But you see that, you think you're going to be a good match, and you feel like you got to have this connection before you go. Feel like you have to write you have to do something before you go and that's fine and have a plan so if you're going to be going on the tour then you can write a few letters before you go but if you're just writing tons and tons without any idea of where or when you're going to go over um, you may be spinning your wheels a bit but if you think you know where you want to go when you want to go maybe a month or so before you're ready to go, maybe a couple months before, it's not a bad idea to send a few letters out and try to, you know, let her know that you're going to be there, you'd like to meet, you can even try to arrange a date when you get there right away or meet at the social, whatever it's going to be. Um, but yeah, I think that's fine. But you know, like anything, you just don't want to get too carried away with it, you know, and there's no substitute for meeting in person. We're one of the few companies, both Bud and I will sit up here and tell you that if you ever want this to go beyond the keyboard Romeo stage, you ever get out of that virtual world and get into the real world, people are marrying 3D holograms. The man actually had a ceremony with this hologram and they are now married and there's a computer programmed hologram wow. and the woman is like about three inches tall or something like that and, wow. and they talk to each other and it's a it's a marriage it's like really uh yeah so if you want that then that's fine There's going to be, believe me, with the years to come, but there's going to be all kinds of virtual things that you can do, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want something that's real, if you want something that's going to be there maybe for the rest of your life, um, then you need to go over and you need to make it happen. And, and writing a few letters may be a good start to that if you have the plan.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Check out our website at firstlatinwomen.com.